The asylum center in Friedeck is like a second home for Rita Donuts. She's been here almost every day for the last 22 years. Here, asylum seekers wait for a decision in their asylum applications. It now hosts people from 27 different nations. Residents change frequently, and each time, Donuts must find new ways of getting to know the new residents. At 39, when she first started to work here, she used to get marriage proposals. Every new one that came in gave it a try. One promised me camels, another one gave me socks, just like that. Now I'm 60, my role is clearer. It's as if I'm their mother and we stay at this level. When I say something now, it's like a mother is saying it. Now let's do this, and then they follow. Enough with the telephone. Now we have to clean. You can call again when you're done. At the moment, there are nearly 100 people living in Friedeck, even though the asylum center was designed for 70. Working in the kitchen is a popular job, where you can earn three francs an hour. Sasha Vladimir has been here for the last year and a half, and he, like many others, has found a second mother in Donuts. Every time I talk, Sasha, you do like that, do like that, it's no good. Every time teach for me something, you know. Everybody have for respect for Mama Rita. I like him. Despite the respect, not everybody follows the rules. One of the asylum seekers has stolen a bike, and it must be returned to its rightful owner. Well, these are the kind of situations that are not necessarily pleasant. In such cases, especially when alcohol is involved, the situation can escalate rather quickly, and in certain circumstances it can be quite dangerous. So it's important to always remain calm. The time to get emotional is when it's all over. In Friedeck, there are also the quiet moments. Donuts has established friendships with some of the residents. Such moments give her strength. I've managed to help a lot of people to find jobs or occupations. I have the feeling that I'm in the right place here, as I really feel that I'm needed. Ali, who prefers to remain anonymous for the cameras, has been here for the last eight years. His asylum application has been rejected, but as it's not clear where he really comes from, he will not be deported, and he still lives in the transit center. As for Donuts, she'll retire in three years' time. Until then, she'll continue to be an important figure for asylum seekers from all over the world.